Hey families. So I was thinking, it's the first week of Lent and here at St. Paul's we've been trying to encourage people to pray with these three postures. To pray with stillness, to pray with scripture, to pray with song. So today I just wanted to take a moment to pray with stillness probably because it's the most challenging for me personally. As so many of you all know, um, I, I live in and out of our car often, which is why it's so appropriate for me to tell you in this moment, in this small little moment that I have, to reflect a little bit about stillness. I feel like my body's constantly moving or we're constantly in a car or there's another decision or an action to be made and like that is life. And I'm not trying to say, oh my gosh, put on the brakes and do the complete opposite. I'm trying to wonder where in my own life I can slow down, right? For so, you, so for you parents out there, like how can we slow down? You know, how can we actually not step on the gas when we don't have to? I think of driving on the freeway and how stepping on the gas because we're late doesn't actually buy us more time, um, if you think of the math about it. So, so is that true for, for when we're trying to speed up on some things that we're also trying to do throughout the day? The invitation this week is to slow down. It may or may not get you to stillness, like the Psalm says in Psalm 46, be still and know that I'm God. But I wonder if there is a slowing down that we do so that we can come to know that our God wants to be walking with us. So from the vantage point of the steering wheel and the driver's seat, how are you going to slow down this week? How are you going to invite the stillness of God or God's companionship to be with you this week? Have a good first week of Lent. We'll see you soon. Bye.